Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, it's been a while since I fished Newport Beach and I really miss the kelp bed, so that's where I'm headed. I'm alone today, but the conditions look great inside the harbor. The sun's still behind the clouds, so it's not too hot. We'll see how things go today. So the water is relatively flat. Water temperature was right at 70 degrees at a depth of almost 40 feet. Air temperature was also right at around 70 degrees and it was almost 7.30 in the morning. Here I've arrived. I'm right on top of the kelp forest, but it's high tide and it's at the highest point of high tide. Water depth now was between 50 and 60 feet. So all of the kelp was submerged below the surface. Here I've hooked into a fish that swam right in the kelp and I had the hardest time getting him free. I tried opening and closing the bale, moving the kayak around. In the end, I lost this fish. So what made this situation really, really bad is that you should never drift when you're fishing a kelp forest. You'll end up getting snagged over and over again. And that's what was happening here. After a while, I decided, you know, this just isn't worth it. I can't throw an anchor out. I can't clip onto the kelp and there is no sense in drifting. So I decided maybe I should try another spot. Here I've worked my way back into the harbor and now I'm fishing right in front of the bait barge. And the first fish I land this morning is a spotted bay bass. It was really surprising to see that you could catch these guys on shrimp. Never caught one using shrimp as bait before. Typically I catch them using artificials like hookup baits and swim baits, but this is a first, catching a spotted bay bass with shrimp. There were so many fish surrounding the bait barge. I was getting hit on nearly every cast. And here I've landed a short calico bass. So I'm gonna release this guy. He is clearly undersized. After catching those two bass, I was constantly getting hit by these fish. At first I thought they were lizard fish, but not quite sure what they are. Please comment below if you're familiar with this particular fish. I must have caught a half dozen of these fish. Here is a better angle at one and maybe you could identify it. These guys are as slippery as mackerel. Oh well, time for the general release. Thanks for watching guys and if you haven't done so yet please subscribe and like this video.